today. No, I might you love this. We, we've, we've been gifted something. We have. Um, did you, is it from your friend Karen? Yeah. Hello, Karen. Thank you very much. And it must be that Karen must watch our videos because um, she's gone fusion. Yes, this is another fusion food. We've been interested in this for a little while. We almost bought these. So um, I, I must, must have known that we were going to be gifted these. Um, so this, I don't know, is it viral? Probably not. Um, this not yet. This was taken to Dragon's Den by a lady called Maria. I can't find her last name anywhere. So hi, Maria. Um, unfortunately, they didn't invest because apparently it's not an investment. But you know, they were. They did talk about how great the fusion is. They did say it was a great product, but yes. not an investment. So, um, yeah, there, there are three flavours, but uh, we, we've, we've only got two of them because we... we, we we've could, got the two exciting ones. We could probably make the, 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 the missing flavour. So uh, we might come back at that for that Possibly. at a later date. Possibly. So um, we, we have done something similar before, but I think this is actually going to be far better than the anticlimax that was what we tried. I mean, you can definitely taste cheese and onion. I'm struggling, so either I need to do an LFT or um, I need a couple more pieces. You can definitely taste the cheese and onion. It's not very strong. Yes. So, um, yeah, today we're eating a bar of crisps. Bar of crisps. I'm giving a moment for the for this, for this to m settle with people because a bar of crisps does not sound right. No, so it's this what we sh we probably ought to explain what this is because it's not just crisps. So it's 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 a chocolate bar with it's it's pretty much a whole nut bar, but instead of nuts, you've got crisps. I think this could be very interesting. Yeah, so we've got cheese and onion flavour. There we are, and we've got salt and vinegar flavour. So the remaining flavour was ready salted. So we we could we could we could bring that back. And I visited the website; they're not available anymore. Are they not? No, she's not selling them anymore. She's gone back to corporate stuff. Oh, so how's the house sad? I know. So we tried the Tato cheese we and did. onion crisps chocolate, which we were quite disappointed in. So I think. We need to start with the cheese and onion flavour to see if it can if if, if it can be redeemed. But um, I'm looking quite forward because it, it's there's there's a lot of crisps in there. Like it does feel quite packed. It does feel very. Well, it looks quite good too. Mm. Oh. So I mean, you, you oh, are nice. actually getting crisps. Yeah, you can actually see crispies in that. Okay. So what is it? It's a 33.5% cocoa content. I'm not getting cheese and onion. I'm getting salt and vinegar. I'm, I'm slightly worried that I'd opened the wrong packet. Oh, oh so what do you mean? It is a ridge cut crisp. I don't know if you can see that. So it's like a McCoy. Oops. So I'm going to go for something that's gone. Yeah. That is good. Mm. It's like a sweet and savoury like rice crisp cornflake cake. That's what I'm trying to think of. I love because as you're chewing it, you can feel the texture. I like that texture. Oh yeah, it's good. Am I getting am I getting cheese and onion though? I'm not. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure I'm smelling. But I'm definitely getting crisp of some variety. Mm. As you're chewing, you get bursts of saltiness. Yeah. Bursts through the chocolate. But the overriding flavour is the chocolate. But I quite like that. Yeah, I've no objections to it. It is very, very nice. 
I think cheese and onion might be a little subtle. Unless you're sat in a car on a hot summer's day and you open them, then they, send, then they smell a bit sicky, but... They do. Yeah. So maybe we need a flavour that's got a bit more punch. So we've got salt and vinegar. I'm concerned, I'm not concerned, I'm not concerned. I, I, I wonder whether this will make um, the chocolate a bit sour. Maybe. Um, oh, 20% crisps. Yeah, in this. I think 20% is quite good. Uh, per 100 grams, 565 calories. Not bad. How big's about? Uh, 100 grams. Okay. So 500 and odd calories per bar. I'm not really getting... I can smell the vinegar. And again, we've got another generously packed bar. <clears throat> so... Um. Yeah, again, 20% crisps in this one. Suitable for vegetarians, apparently. I've just read on the packet. Oh, there you go. I am getting something slightly different. Mm. I think the cheese and onions are sweeter, isn't it? It's still subtle, but you do get it. I... I it's the vinegar I'm getting. Okay. You might be able to hear Brenda chewing on her chewy toy as well in the background. Oh, yeah. I've got a really vinegary bit. If you exhale through your nose, into my mouth. No, out, out through your nose. I know what I mean. They, these are really nice. I, I like, I like both of them, but I like the salt and vinegar better. It's got a little bit more. It's got a slight tang to it. Yeah, it, the the, the flavour is stronger, I think. Yeah. That one. Do you know what? I'm. I'm glad we've tried these. Okay. Yeah. These are really nice. The thing is, I don't know about you, like I say, it this brings me the texture brings me back to like rice crispy cakes and yes. like chocolate cornflake cakes, you know, as you made as a kid. So I have do you remember did you ever make them with shredded wheat and chocolate or shreddies and chocolate to make like proper nest looking nest ones, no? No. So in ooh, in the cupboard We've got chipsticks, yep. ready salted chipsticks okay. that I think might be worth trying to make some sort of chocolate and crisp. Do we need nest to try and cake. recreate the bar about... of crisps with the ready salted to yes. say that we've tried all the flavours? I think because they are the three classic flavours. I think we should give that a go. Yeah. Favourite flavour? I like salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar crisps are my favourite flavour anyway. I see cheese and onion is my favourite flavour crisp, but I prefer the salt, salt and vinegar bar of crisps. What about in a toasty? Hmm? So you have a chocolate spread sandwich and sometimes you have a crisp sandwich. Yeah. Why not use it all together and have it in a toasty? Or will it pie? <gasps> We've not done one of those for a while. Will it pie a bar of crisps? What are your thoughts? Do we need to try that? I think we might need to try that. Okay. But I wouldn't use the nice ones, I'd use our own. We'll make our own. Yeah. We'll make a we'll make a puck to yes. go with. <laughs> Maybe that's something we'll do because I will be eating the rest of this today. Yes. But, um, yeah, so thank you very much, Karen. Thank you very much. Um, very kind. It was a success. Very, um, very pleased with that, I think. Yeah. And I think Maria will be because you invested in her, in our product too. So 
wins all round. But yeah, if you can think of anything weird fusion. Um, we give, do like a bit of fusion. We do like a fusion. Um, give us a shout. Um, other than that, I don't think... Oh, ooh, do we want to sum up in a word? Mixed. I've got mixed feelings on it. The cheese and onion is a little bit disappointing. It doesn't quite give me the flavour that I'm looking for. It's nice. Um, but the salt and vinegar really does. So I've sort of got a mixed feeling on it. See, I, I would say nostalgia purely from the texture. It just reminds me of chocolate, cornflake and Rice Krispie cakes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, and it's a good chocolate, to be fair. It is. So, if you like that, great. If you didn't, I'm sorry, but, you know, keep an eye on our website. Maybe we should drop a link in. Yes. Um, and, um, yeah, we'll... Um, We'll see you next week. Bye, love you, bye.